abyssal terrors of Blackwater Lake. I'll never forget the first time I laid eyes on Blackwater Lake. Its tranquil beauty nestled within the heart of the forest seemed like a portal to another world, a world untouched by the chaos of our everyday lives. The mirror-like surface reflected the towering trees and the gentle breeze carried the soft rustling of leaves. Little did I know, beneath that serene exterior lay a nightmare that would haunt my every thought. This is the tale of the horrors hidden beneath the surface of Blackwater Lake. A story I feel compelled to share, no matter how unsettling it might be. Blackwater Lake had always been a tranquil oasis, nestled deep within the heart of the dense forest. Its shimmering surface reflected the surrounding trees like a flawless mirror, and its depths were said to hold secrets as old as time itself. The townspeople nearby enjoyed the lake's beauty, using it for fishing, boating, and leisurely swims. But little did they know, the lake held a sinister secret that would soon shatter the calm. It was a warm summer morning when Emily, a young woman with a love for adventure, decided to take her kayak out onto Blackwater Lake. She paddled leisurely, enjoying the serenity of the water and the gentle rustling of the leaves. As she glided farther from the shore, the tranquility was shattered by a sudden jolt beneath her kayak. Startled, Emily looked over the side and saw a shadowy figure darting beneath the water. Before she could react, her kayak tipped violently, sending her splashing into the lake. Panic surged through her as she thrashed in the water, but something cold and slimy wrapped around her ankle, dragging her down. She screamed, her voice muffled by the water as she was pulled beneath the surface. Days later, Emily's lifeless body washed ashore. The townspeople were horrified by her gruesome fate. The local authorities initially chalked it up to a tragic accident, a collision with a submerged log, perhaps. But rumors began to circulate about the shadowy figure in the lake, a creature that seemed to have taken Emily's life. Whispers of an ancient curse and underwater monsters spread like wildfire. As fear gripped the town, a seasoned investigator named Daniel arrived. He had heard the rumors and was intrigued by the mystery surrounding Blackwater Lake. With a notebook in hand and determination in his eyes, he set out to uncover the truth. Daniel interviewed the townspeople, each with a different tale of unease. Fishermen spoke of their lines being bitten clean through, while swimmers recounted eerie sensations of something brushing against their legs in the water. One old fisherman even claimed to have glimpsed a monstrous eye staring up from the depths. Daniel's investigation led him to a retired marine biologist named Dr. Elizabeth Foster. She had spent years studying aquatic life and was known for her extensive knowledge of underwater creatures. Dr. Foster's face turned pale as Daniel recounted the stories he had gathered. With a grave expression, she shared a chilling revelation. Blackwater Lake was once connected to a network of underground caves, Dr. Foster explained. Long ago, these caves were inhabited by a species of fish unlike any other. They adapted to their lightless environment, growing larger, more voracious, and utterly unrecognizable from their ancestors. These fish became apex predators, feeding on whatever crossed their path. Determined to uncover the truth, Daniel and Dr. Foster prepared for a daring expedition into the depths of Blackwater Lake. Equipped with specialized diving gear, they descended into the dark waters. The lake's surface, once so inviting, now seemed like a portal to a sinister underworld. As they descended deeper, the water grew colder and the light dimmer. The murky depths concealed a world of darkness and uncertainty. The team's heartbeats quickened as shadows moved just beyond their limited field of vision. Suddenly, a massive shape emerged from the darkness, its teeth glinting ominously. A monstrous fish, 
Its body covered in mottled scales and eyes gleaming with primal hunger swam towards them. Dr. Foster's eyes widened in shock as she recognized the creature from her research. These, these are descendants of those ancient cave-dwelling fish, she whispered, her voice trembling with a mixture of fear and awe. The creature circled them, its movements both graceful and menacing. It was a chilling reminder of the lake's hidden horrors and the lives it had claimed. They captured footage and samples, documenting the encounter to share with the world above. Back on the surface, Daniel and Dr. Foster presented their findings to the townspeople. The once skeptical community was now faced with undeniable evidence of the lake's deadly inhabitants. Panic gripped the town as they realized the threat lurking beneath the serene surface. Efforts were made to restrict access to the lake and warning signs were posted along its shores. But the creatures grew bolder, venturing closer to the surface in search of prey. Fishing boats were attacked and even the local wildlife began to disappear. As fear turned to desperation, the townspeople rallied together to face the abyssal terrors. Armed with makeshift weapons and a newfound unity, they launched an expedition to rid their beloved lake of the deadly creatures once and for all. The battle that ensued was fierce and harrowing, as man and monster clashed in a desperate struggle for survival. The lake's depths churned with violence as the townspeople fought to protect their way of life Blood mingled with water, and the once tranquil lake became a battleground of life and death. In the end, victory came at a heavy cost. The townspeople had successfully driven the creatures back into the depths, but many lives were lost in the process. Blackwater Lake, once a place of serenity and beauty, was forever tainted by the horrors that had emerged from its depths. The town mourned its losses and erected a memorial in honor of those who had fallen. The lake, once a place of joy, was now a haunting reminder of the darkness that could lurk beneath even the most idyllic surface. And as the years passed, the legend of Blackwater Lake's abyssal terrors lived on. A cautionary tale whispered around campfires and told to those who dared to venture too close to the water's edge.